That's my life. Welcome to it. How do I be normal again? Mm. It just wasn't my time, but my time's gonna come. Girl, we need a break. I know that I'm gonna be on the Olympia stage. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. You are winner, Julia Renee. Buffets and bros, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Julie Renee, and I'm an IFBB wellness pro. And I actually want to welcome you to the end of the Road to Olympia series. So I have been definitely dreading making this video, but I knew I've known for quite a while that this was what was going to happen just because purely my intuition was telling me that it was time to stop. And I just didn't want to believe it because I love competing and I didn't want it to be the end. I just, I really didn't. I'm always sad when I have to end these series because they're just so exciting. And even though it's hard, I love the challenge so much and everything about it and how close we all get and all the things. But for the past couple of weeks, you know, my intuition has been telling me that I need to, I need to stop. I need to give my body a break. I need to give it a chance to catch up. And, you know, along with that, my coach has been telling me the same thing. He's not going to directly say, this is what you have to do, but he's going to advise me on what's going to be best for my health long term and for my mental well being. And, I checked in with him this past Thursday, which was actually the day that I moved into my new place, which is where I'm at right now. Got a little plant sanctuary over here. And I just, I just knew, you know, after talking to my friends about it, I just, they were like, Julia, like you need a break. You need to give yourself a break. You need to chill. Because I've basically been completing, completing, competing for three years straight. So since my first year, I haven't given my body an adequate amount of rest to recover because it takes a lot to recover from competing and preparing for a show. And although I gave myself some rest, it wasn't adequate rest enough to be able to see progress and to heal at the best ability that I could and to come back even better. So when I was talking to my coach about it, I had him explain it to me in a way that would like make sense of basically what is happening to my body or what is happening. Look, my health, like I feel great. I don't want anyone to think that like something is completely wrong with me and this is why I'm start stopping. It's just that my body is not responding as well as it should be at this point. For example, like the amount of effort that I am putting in and the amount of return that I'm getting, it, there's an imbalance there. And the reason being is because of something called basically, I think coach put it as dieting adaptation. So what happens when you diet for like the first time, for example, my first show, which was the show that I was the leanest that I've ever been at because it's the first time that I've ever dieted that hard. It was the first time that my body has had that low of calories. I've done that kind of cardio. So it responded really well. And then the second time it got a little bit harder the same things didn't work as, as well. I had to do maybe more cardio, maybe I had to eat less food. Then the next time that I did it, it got even harder. So that's been happening, and this is I think my fourth or fifth show. So that has been happening each time. My body has adapted, 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 adapted to where it's like, girl, we need a break. Because the further away you are from a caloric deficit, the better. And the closer that you are from your previous deficit to the next deficit that you do, the harder that it's going to be. So for example, say, so I want to say like I competed last year and got my pro card in July and then July, August, September, October, November, December. So that's five four to five months where I gave my body a break and then I started prep again. I started going into a diet. So you might think five months is a good amount of time for you to get healthy and to you know build your metabolism back up. 
but really what's happening within those first, I'd say three to four months, is your body's getting back to its regular state. So it's getting back to, it just started getting back to its regular state from the three to the four month period. And then I got right back into prep again. So my coach is advising me to basically not compete until this time next year. So I don't know when I'm gonna compete again. I don't know the exact date or anything like that, but I know right now that for my, not only my health, but to get my metabolism working optimally again, like it did at the very beginning of me starting bodybuilding, and thirdly, so that I can bring the most undeniable package that I absolutely can to my next pro show. These are all three things that I know I can do if, my, if I give my body the adequate rest to not only get out of a deficit and start eating at maintenance calories and then eating at a surplus of calories and then being able to lift heavy again and have, you know, less cardio and more energy and more flexibility with food and stuff like that. You know, all of those things are going to progress me forward. And it was really hard for me to accept that these past couple of weeks because bodybuilders get really, not all of them, definitely not all of them, but I know some of them and I'm one included where you get so attached to competing and you, you think that it's your identity, that it's the only thing that you have to offer the world, which is competing. And I get into that space a lot where I think of, okay, if I'm not competing, no one's going to care about what I am and what I'm doing. And realistically, none of that matters. You know, it's like if people stop caring, then who cares? And that's not the way that I want to think about this, like whatsoever, because you guys know that the reason that I prep is not to win, it's not to get a trophy, it's not to get any recognition, it's because every single time that I go through a prep, I learn more about myself in that time frame than ever. And this prep has been the most rewarding, difficult, challenging, and I have learned the most out of this prep than any of my other preps. If you saw my videos before, you know that a lot has been going on with me and there is a part of me really that didn't want to stop bodybuilding because I didn't want people to think that I wasn't competing because of what happened with Zach and I. And that's a dumb way to be thinking. And I'm just being honest with you, that's how I was feeling. I didn't want people to think that I let it get to me that bad that I couldn't compete. And if that's the case of what people thinking, then people can think whatever they want to think. I can't control that. And I have to, I had to release that and know that the, the reason that I am making this decision to step back from competing so that I can build a better physique so that I can get my metabolism working optimally again so that I can learn balance again. Those all are so important in how I'm going to be able to show up the next time I go on stage. So yeah, guys, that's the decision that I've made. And I know that this is the right decision because when you have something that keeps coming up inside of you and you keep pushing it away, pushing it away. Your intuition is trying to tell you something. Your intuition is trying to push you into the direction that you're supposed to go. Even if it's painful or even if it's not what you think that you want to do, I know that this is the right move for me right now. And I know that it might be uncomfortable right now for me, but I know that by doing this and taking this time, I'm going to come back and be undeniable. I'm going to feel so much better. I'm gonna be even happier. I'm gonna progress. I'm gonna make the improvements that the coaches want or the judges want to see in me. And it'll give me that time to do so. And I just haven't been giving myself enough time to make those adjustments, to get healthy, to get my metabolism back. And you know, that's a mistake that I made on my part and I can't go back and redo it. All I can do is move forward from where I am now. 
and learn from it. And I've learned so much from this prep and I'm going to learn a lot more because we basically just started our improvement season now and there's still so much to take you guys through. So it's sad to have to end the Road to Olympia series, but you know what that means. It means that we're gonna have another one and that's okay. I also felt for a short amount of time that I was too attached to going to the Olympia this year. There's a fine balance between wanting to achieve a goal and then being so attached to the goal that if it doesn't happen in your time frame, you get upset. And look, I know that I'm gonna be on the Olympia stage, but timing is everything. And what I just learned from this series is that it just wasn't my time. It just wasn't my time, but my time's gonna come and it's gonna come when it's supposed to come. It's not going to come when I force it to come, when I want it to come. I know that there's probably been a time in your life where you're just like shrinking your fists at the world. Like, why is this thing not happening for me? And then you realize later, like, that's why. Maybe you weren't actually prepared for it. Maybe you needed to take a step back because all of this happens for a reason. Like there's no accidents. This isn't just accidentally something that happened. My intuition was telling me that I needed to stop for a reason because there's a greater purpose out there for me. There is a chance for me to show up and be an even better human and be an even better content creator for you. There's so much more behind this than I can see right now. Right now it's just pure belief and eventually I will be able to see. So it's sad to have to end it. I know I've said that a million times, but thank you guys so much for everything that you've done for me from the beginning, from when I started my YouTube channel, wherever you are, wherever you've joined this community, you are so appreciated here in the amount of love and support that you not only give me, but that you give each other. That's the kind of community that I want and that's the kind of community that I always dreamed of having and I have that and I can't be any more grateful than I am right now. And there's just, that's still like part of me that is sad that I have to, that I have to end it. But the key thing that I just keep telling myself is that this is going to be better for you in the future and that's all that I can tell myself right now. And I know that that is the case. And I know that next year I'll be able to come back better than ever. And we'll even, we'll have an even better Road to Olympia series. And it's just, I'm excited. This is a very pivotal moment in my life. Not for, not only for bodybuilding, but just for my personal life. And I know there's a lot of growth that's going to come from this. And there's a part of me that's just like so excited to, to see what it is already. And we always do that as humans. Like we want to know what's going to happen. We want to know what's coming. We want to know what's around the corner, but we don't always know that. But I just know something great's coming and I just have to be patient. I need to listen to what my heart is telling me, what my intuition is trying to steer me towards. And I feel like that's what I'm doing right now. So, we're starting a new series, guys. I don't know what the name of it is going to be. I have a couple of ideas of what this next series will be, but if you have some ideas of your own, please drop them in the comments below because actually I think the last time I asked for y'all's opinion, I decided on one of y'all's um, ideas because y'all have incredible ideas. So that's my life. Welcome to it. I need to figure out how to be like a normal person now again. And we're going to figure that out together. I've done this before. I've done this a million times, but each time that I do it, I'm like, how do I be normal again? Hmm. We'll figure it out together, but I'm going to have a new training split. I'm going to have a new diet approach, new supplementation, all of these things. Everything is going to be shifted into a direction of getting healthy again, bringing my metabolism back to a healthy space as well mentally, physically, spiritually, all of the things are going to be happening in this series. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. You know, the adjustments, just if you don't remember what I was saying from the show day video, but the areas that I need to improve on are still basically the same areas that I've been trying to improve on since I started. So this 
break will give me a chance to really just hone in on those. And it's glutes, hamstrings, calves. Uh, my quads are already where they need to be. I just need to make sure that they, they stay where they are or potentially grow a little bit more. But I need to have that balance on the back end as, what am I saying? The back end, which is hamstrings and glutes and calves, need to match the mass that I have on the front, which is the quad. So that's really what we're going to be foc focusing on training wise. And I'll take you through how I'm going to do that because I'm working on a program right now for you guys as well. And yeah, diet approach, all those things are coming. Everything that you can think of is coming. So just let me know down below what you wanna see from this series, what you wanna learn from this series, what you wanna get out of this series and what the Road to Olympia series has taught you because I've learned so much from this series and it's been one of the hardest moments in my life going through all of this, all of this stuff. I just know that there's something, there's, there's something out there. There's something that's gonna come from this. There's something that I need to learn. There's a growth edge that needs to come and I'm ready for it, even though it might be scary. So, yep. Thank you guys so much for being here for this Road to Olympia series. You are appreciated so much. And as always, I love you all so much, and you are more powerful than you think. Bye!